March 7th, 1936. 22,000 German troops have just entered the Rhineland and violated the Treaty of Versailles. This is a historic moment for Germany, as it is the first of many violations in denouncing the treaty. November 11th, 1918. The war to end all wars has just ended. Though not formally, it was a ceasefire. The war officially ended on June 28, 1919, when all 32 allied nations consisted of three parties led by the major powers, Britain, France, Italy, Japan, and the United States. This treaty would seize the following German territories, Danzig, Poznan, and Silesia to Poland, Memel to Lithuania, Euben to Belgium, Alsace-Lorraine to France, Northern Schleswig to Denmark, and all of its African and Asian colonies. In total, Germany lost around 13% and 7 million people from this treaty. 13% of its land, of course. The SAAR, or Saarland, German Industrial Region, remained in League of Nations when in 1935 it was returned to fascist Germany. And finally, as the main subject, the French occupation of the resource-rich and industrial Rhineland when the German economy failed to pay heavy war reparations. The French used the demilitarization as an act of security to protect their borders. The remilitarization would allow Germany to construct fortifications and defenses, violating that security. As said by the French Foreign Minister, M. Fledden, what had been violated was a treaty into which Germany had freely entered. It was a violation of territorial character, a violation following upon repeated assurances by the German Chancellor that he would respect the Locarno Treaty and the demilitarized zone on condition that the other parties did the same. It was a violation committed in the very middle of negotiations. Although the French were outraged, the French people and politicians did not want to risk another war. The reaction from the British was to propose negotiations over the region. They already had proposed this. There was dismay over breaking the treaty, but there was no way they would want to go to war over it. Which is reinforced with the British Foreign Secretary Anthony Eden's statement. We must discourage any military action by France against Germany. A possible course which might have its advocates would be for Locarno signatories to call upon Germany to evacuate the Rhineland. It is this difficult now to suppose that Herr Hitler would agree to such a demand, and it certainly should not be made unless the powers who made it were prepared to enforce it by military action. Fortunately, M. Fladden has said that France will not act alone but will take the matter to the Council. This must be encouraged to do, but we must be aware lest the French Republic, if further irritated or frightened, gets restless at such a slow and indecisive action and demand retaliatory action of a military ch character such, for instance, as the reoccupation of the Tsar. Such a development must be avoided if possible. The British would instead try to negotiate over the number of forces that would be able to be in the Rhineland. The remilitarization of the Rhineland was only a diplomatic response against Germany with no consequences. This would allow Germany to later occupy Austria with Anschluss and Czechoslovakia with the Munich Conference. Well, if you're this far into the video, it's greatly appreciated. 
If you like the video, then I would suggest you like it. Because if the video only gets 10 likes, I will do another one like this, such as the Anschluss of Austria, or the Sudetenland and the Munich Conference. Hopefully enjoyed. Peace.